Believe it or not, having sex with a stranger is actually a common female fantasy. Just having a moment where out of nowhere, she ends up super physical and intimate with a man that she's attracted to. Which is funny because you don't really hear me talking about that a lot on the Trick Advice channel, right? I always talk about how it takes time, you need to build up tension. Well, that's the thing, that is the norm. And the thing with sexual fantasies is it's things that are happening outside of the norm, which is not something that a woman wants all the time, but as a fantasy, it would be something that she would really want to do, is be able to be with the guy and have a very quick sexual experience with someone she doesn't know. There is this side of danger that some women get turned on by. The fact that it's risque, that she doesn't know if something bad or good is going to happen, and that actually leads to a turn on. Another common sexual fantasy is the threesome. And these can be anywhere from it being two guys and one woman or two women and one guy. But this is something that she actually craves. Generally speaking, most women would like to do this sometime in their life. A lot of this is normally gonna happen maybe in the early to mid 20s when they're single, when they're having fun. Maybe it's something that she wants to do post divorce, but it is something that a lot of women do think about and are turned on by the fact that there are multiple people together having a sexual experience. Now I should say it's not just threesomes, but even four, five and beyond. That's right. I know I was a little shocked myself, but when I did the research, women want to be in some sort of foursome, fivesome, sixsome, just where there's a lot of people involved. And I even read that large gangbangs is something that some women are actually into. So it doesn't have to do with just a few people, but more people involved could really turn her on. Go to Burning Man and you'll see a lot of that. Next, being with another woman. We are all on a spectrum of sexuality. And that means that it's not just binary where people are just gay or just straight. You can be anywhere on a spectrum that lends itself to being homosexual or heterosexual. And a lot of women do have a fantasy of being with another woman alone, or of course, in some sort of threesome, foursome plus. But they are attracted to the idea of being with a woman and having that sexual experience also because it's a little bit out of the norm. If you're interested in having a threesome or exploring some more of these ideas, we do have a coaching program that is advanced that can teach guys not only how to get more dates, but how to have the sexual experiences that they're looking for. Go to tripadvicecoaching.com, link is down below, book a call with my team. We can chat with you about how we can help you with some of these more advanced areas. Next, mixing pain and pleasure. This is sort of like BDSM, having moments where you are using maybe some toys or some objects that can help bring in the pain or maybe even bring in the pleasure. But the experience of having both is definitely a turn on to a lot of women, which leads me to the next one. Domination, which is very, very common for a lot of women. They want to be dominated in the bedroom. They want the man to take control. And yeah, sometimes they will want to be in the driver's seat, but a lot of times they want the guy to be running the ship. This is something of a very masculine quality that turns them on when they're in the bedroom. So if you can mix something with domination and pain and pleasure, and maybe even something with threesomes, foursomes, fivesomes plus, this would definitely be something that a woman might want to explore. Of course, you don't know until you talk to her to see what she's into, but secretly, a lot of women do like a lot of these things. Next is an ultra romantic location. So an example of this might be a beach, but this is a big turn on for a lot of women. An area that screams romance, and nothing screams romance more than a beach with a sunset out in nature, but something like that is a big turn on for a woman. So if you can create that kind of experience, maybe mix in some of this, you're on a good path. But make sure to talk to a woman about exactly what she likes so she can feel comfortable wanting to do that thing. 